Seriously speaking, the way you spoke to that girl in there was wrong. Come to think of it, that girl has served us in this house for over two years. The value of that girl in this house cannot be overemphasized. Hasn't she tried? So, we should beg her, be? Is that what we should do? If she says she wants to go, which obviously she's going to do, it is not going to be easy for us to get someone else. And you know it. Please don't say that. Don't say that. There are over a million girls out there looking for house help job. So please don't make her important. This is one thing I don't like about you. If not that you place your business and your work above your family responsibilities, what do we need house help for? Please don't, don't let's start this issue this night. Because if we start this issue this night, I won't sleep. And me, I want to sleep so that I'll wake up early tomorrow. This is what I hear every day. Sometimes I wonder if this is how other women neglect their housework to their house helps. Oh, is that it? This is simple. <laughs> Very simple. You want me to clean, wash, tidy the house, cook? I will do just that. Do you know what? I'm going to quit my bank job and close the shop. Then I will return home and be a full housewife to you. Nobody is asking you to quit your job. What I am saying and I have always said is for you to balance your work with your responsibility as the mother of this house. Your whole front is like it. Can't you see it? Good night, sir. I'm tired of talking. I want to sleep. So if you are tired of talking and you want to sleep, come and join me. Morning, son. How are you? I'm fine, mom. Uh, my car is faulty. Could you please drop me off at work? No, that won't be possible. I'm not even going to the office straight. I'm going to my client rates from there to the office, and I'm already running late. Go with your father. <sighs> Mommy. Always busy. I mean, what a mother are you? You don't even have time for your family. Mom, Dad. No, sir. How are you? I'm fine. You haven't got to work yet. My car is faulty. I thought mom would drop me off at work. But you know your wife. Her busy attitude. No, my dear mom. I just hope by the time she realizes the bad effect of this attitude, it will be late. Let's go and drop you off. Thank you, darling. Hi. Well, Mrs. Ofo, congratulations are still in order. It's positive. I. But that, that can be possible, Doctor. And I've been taking my pills. Well, contraceptives have been known to fail my day. But I don't understand. Do you mean that you are not in the least bit thrilled about the idea of a baby? It's not like I'm not thrilled. It's just, you know, my husband and I, we're not exactly ready for, for this baby. Oh, you wanted to extend your honeymoon a little while longer. Is that it? Yeah, something like that. Well then, your son or daughter couldn't wait any longer. You know what they say. God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It sure does. Thank you very much. You're welcome there. All right. You have a nice day.
So what happened? Why? Are you sick? I'm I'm telling you guys, so the doctor suggested I could repeat. Okay, so yeah, we didn't use it. Yeah. It didn't end. It was supposed to stay on the pregnant. Cindy, why are you sob now? You should be happy right now. I don't know if I'm ready for a baby at this point in time of my life. I'm... Don't be silly. Come on. This is no time to cry, my darling. And right now, you look too overwrought for work, okay? So you know what's going to happen? We have to go for some early lunch so we can talk this over. Alright? Let me know why you're sobbing instead of rejoicing over this sweet news. Come on, mom. What? What happened? Can you imagine? She called us one night for a meeting and she told us that she was going and she's gone. What did she say the reason is? It doesn't even matter. The problem now is that she's gone and I need a new house help. My friend, I've always told you you don't need a house help. All you need to do is balance your workplace and your home front and you'll find out eventually you don't need a house help. Mm? You don't need one. Do you know your problem, Evelyn? It's like you like preaching too much. <laughs> Evelyn, how can you tell me I don't need a house help? No, you tell me. The work stress from the office and the shop and you're telling me I don't need a house help. No, I am the one wearing the shoes. So I know where it's pinching me. So I need a house help. Okay. All I'm saying is that... Enough, no Evelyn! Enough! Uh -uh. What is it? I said I need a house help. I'm the one that is paying for it. I'll be easy in your house. Is it not my house? Why are you telling me I don't need a house help? I need house help! Okay, madam. I don't know why he's pinching you so much. Hmm? I'll help you get one. <sighs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. My new friend, thank you. And you're looking good. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> So, sweetheart, tell me, what is the problem? Why are you not so excited about having a baby? It's not like I'm not excited about having a baby. It's just that Fred and I were not exactly ready yet. Okay, dear. See, I understand you guys may have made decisions about not having any child now for reasons best known to you. But, I mean, Cindy, having a baby is never a mistake. Oh, like no. never. Babes, I know it's not a mistake. <laughs> you know what? I think I've just been silly, you know, worrying my sweet head about finances and all that. Yeah. Okay. You're being very silly. Trust me. And funny enough, you might even tell Fred now and he'll be very excited about the news. Hmm. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yes, now. I really, really, really hope so. <laughs> my dear, you don't have problems, so. It's not like you and Fred are dating. You guys are married. Like for Christ's sake, happily married at that. So, a child news right now should be a big testimony, like a sweet eyes and on the cake of your loving relationship. Yeah, you're <laughs> right. Should be happy. Hmm. You like it? But you know I can do better. Ah, well, sit down. No, <laughs> Hey, baby. I'm great. Mm. Welcome back. Go up and freshen up. Okay. 
and we'll talk about that over dinner, which mm. is already ready. Served. <laughs> I can see that. All right, I'm really. Uh, hurry up. Sure.